Hey folks, Ray at DCRamerica.com here. Today I've got something a little bit different. Uh, you may be looking at this thing over here and going, what the heck is that? That, my friends, kids, that's a Compu Trainer. Uh, that's like the original trainer before there were kickers and all the new fangled things that are wireless. There was this beast that was very much wired. Uh, you had wires that obviously plugged into the wall, but then you had wires that ran to this handlebar controller here using this giant cable, and then another wire that ran from here to your laptop using a serial connector, not like you know cheerio cereal but like uh, anyways nowadays they also have usb ones though so that's a bit of an improvement uh but still this is this is old stuff in fact so will the company has now gone out of business now someone actually did buy the computrainer brand we don't really know who yet it's been a secret for i think like a year year and a half now uh we know that shram you know maker of like uh shifting and stuff like that they bought velotron from racermate uh so racermate's the umbrella that had computrainer under it as well as velotron uh which is sort of like the lab kind of the higher end stuff uh uh, we don't really know what SRAM plans to do with that long term. It sounds like it's more of a just an internal curiosity at this point. Uh, but CompuTrainer itself is gone. It's there. It's it's gone. But there are like thirty thousand of these out there. Uh, and if you've got Zwift or if you've got Trainer Road, you can go ahead and you can connect this to those apps. No problem for the most part. You know, using wires. But what if you have a third-party app that doesn't support the CompuTrainer natively, uh, like a lot of them? In fact, they may support AMP plus FEC or Bluetooth FTMS, but not CompuTrainer. How do you how do you get that working? Uh, and today there's a bit of an answer. So uh, a company called Perf Pro, who's been around in the indoor trainer world for quite a while, doing mostly like group studio type software. Uh, their Perf Pro, Perf Pro suite is very very big, lots of features, kind of cumbersome to use, but it's there for people that need it. Um, what they've come out with the new little tool, this thing right there, called CT Smart. Um, and it is simply a wireless bridge that takes this whole wired mess and makes it wireless. Now you still have to have this whole wired mess, but what it allows you to do is to then use something like a Wahoo Bolt, a Garmin Edge, or some other app that may be wireless and control your CompuTrainer using AMP+. Plus. Um, so to kind of walk you through this really quick, we'll try to keep this like two minute Tuesday style. Um, this is the app here, you can download it. It costs 39 bucks, one time fee, so none of the subscription stuff, just one time fee but they do have a two-week trial, so you can give it a shot, see if it works or doesn't work for you. Once you've got the app installed, you need to make sure you've got all your fangled cables all figured out and, and dealt with. That took me like 90 minutes to find the right connector, this little piece right here. I ended up stealing it off my audio board to, to make it all work. Once that was done though, then you're basically good to go. This number right there, the 20019 number, that is the new AMP Plus ID. So that's what actually shows up right here in the Wahoo Bolt. So if I go on this and I go to pair a new sensor, I will find what it calls the kicker, which is actually kind of funny. Uh, but then if once you get it paired, it shows it as fitness equipment. And if I look at that, I see the ID of 20019, AMP plus ID of this equipment. In fact, on this app, you can have multiple CompuTrainers uh, connected to this one computer. So the idea behind this is that you take an old skanky computer that you have sitting around somewhere uh, and go ahead and then connect a bunch of CompuTrainers to it. One, two, a whole pile of them, doesn't really matter. And then you have your AMP plus stick, this little thing right there that you can go ahead and broadcast out. Uh, and so I've tried all this. I was just on the bike over there giving this a whirl. In fact, doing a quick little test workout on the Bolt, where this, of course, is obviously entirely wireless, and it was controlling the CompuTrainer just fine. Uh, so it controls the wattage, it can control incline, whatever it is that you may want to do, this can do it. And the same for like a Garmin Edge device or other apps that can use AMP plus FEC. In fact, you can see here, I've got it paired up to both Trainer Road as well as Zwift using AMP plus uh, FEC on a totally different computer. So I put it on my Mac off of the side uh, and it's paired up there. So there is the option to do that if you wanted to do like the whole computer to computer thing. In both of those cases, it doesn't honestly make a ton of sense because of the fact that Zwift and Trainer Road do natively support the CompuTrainer. So that's just an example of, you know, how the technology works and how you could use it for other apps down the road. Now there's a bit of a catch there. Uh, there's no Bluetooth FTMS support right now. And that's what, you know, if you're using like Apple TV or using uh, some other iPad or other mobile device where it is Bluetooth only and no AMP plus, there's not yet a solution there. In talking to Perf Pro, they said they are looking at going ahead and adding in Bluetooth FTMS there. So that would allow you to then still use a computer, still use all this junk, but you could use your Apple TV to connect your computer entirely wirelessly. So of course, this is probably a little bit of a small market. There are about 30,000 or so Compu trainers that were made. Uh, and the reality is a large pile of those are probably sitting in some dusty attic somewhere, not being used. That person may not even be in cycling anymore. Um, in this case, my Wahoo Bolt is telling me my next interval is coming up here. Uh, but you know, a lot of those trainers are probably totally out of circuit 
circulation and totally forgot about. Then there's the next pile of them like mine that were sitting downstairs, literally getting dusty. I had to clean this off and make it look pretty again. Um, but those folks like me have new trainers we're gonna use. So we're probably not gonna use this either. Uh, still, there is a set of people that are using company trainers that are looking at wanting to use other apps out there. Uh, so this would appeal to those folks that need a, some solution to go ahead and get uh, past that wired connectivity issue. Okay, we're done with that workout. Now, an ideal world what would happen is you'd have this little connector that's on the inside right there, and someone would just make something that is essentially a big thing like this, just a dongle like this that plugged right in and broadcast out AMP Plus and Bluetooth Smart straight on the dongle without having to use the handlebar unit and all this other junk. But there's just not the market there anymore for that. There's no way that someone's going to spend the time and money for a hardware solution uh, to go ahead and have what is a market, you know, very, very small, a finite number of people that's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Unfortunately, that time has passed. Uh, there was another app out there called CT Ant. Uh, I think it's out there. Maybe it still works. I'm not really sure. Uh, the difference between that app and this app is that this one has Ant Plus FEC control versus that one was just broadcasting only. So this one, you can control the trainer. That one was purely just broadcasting out your power and whatnot. So a bit different. Uh, again, that app, I think, is like five years old or something. But uh, all these apps are kind of cool in that they're just buy them once and you have them, have them forever, just like just like the old days. With that, I hope you found this interesting. Whack that like button at the bottom there or hit the subscribe button for plenty more sports technology. Uh, next few weeks are gonna be, they're gonna be solid. So have a good one.